Pressure is building on British Prime Minister Theresa May to resign following her election debacle this week. Jonathan Vigliotti has the latest from London. Don, Prime Minister May called for this week's snap vote three years early, hoping to increase her party's majority and strengthen the UK ahead of its divorce from the European Union. Instead, the results showed a nation divided. Every vote for me. May and her Conservative Party were expected to crush Labour Party leader Jeremy Corbyn. While ultimately he came in second, it was close enough to deny May a parliament majority. And in British politics, that's a victory. Two of May's top aides have now stepped down. May herself has ignored calls to resign. She met with the Queen yesterday and discussed her plans to try to govern with the help of the DUP, a smaller political party from Northern Ireland. The group's anti-gay, anti-abortion beliefs make them complicated but necessary allies if May is to lead the UK through Brexit negotiations. It's a tricky deck of cards to hold, and the European Union is closely monitoring, if not already capitalizing, on this weekend. It's clear that they do not intend to pause negotiations with the U.K. as they deal with their own housekeeping. The election happened in the shadow of last week's terror attack in London. And along with this political turmoil, the prime minister is dealing with an ongoing terror investigation. It was revealed today that the three attackers tried to rent a bigger truck but didn't have enough money. Police believe they have honed in on the entire group behind the attack, but several questions remain, including how could these attackers, some previously known to police, have slipped through intelligence? Don. Thanks, Jonathan.